Weed control methods can be categorized into cultural weed control methods, mechanical weed control, chemical weed control using herbicides, biological weed control, and integrated weed management. Cultural methods include crop practices which reduce weed invasion in the farm. They include crop rotation that involves alternating crop families in the field to help disrupt weed cycle. Mulching involves applying dry plant materials on the soil surface to suppress weed growth by blocking sunlight and preventing weed seeds from germination. Proper spacing of crops is used as a method of cultural weed control. It ensures that all space between crops is well covered to prevent weed growth. Cover cropping involves growing specific plants that cover the soil and help to suppress weed growth. Use of clean planting materials ensures that planting materials free from weed seeds is planted, ensuring no weeds in the farm. Timely planting allows crops to establish early before the weeds, thus smothering them. Proper land preparation removes rhizomes and underground structures of weeds, thus controlling them. Proper irrigation and fertilization ensures optimal growth of desired plants to help them outcompete weeds. Flooding in rice fields enables suffocation of terrestrial weeds. Mechanical weed control involves methods such as rooting or hand pulling that involves physically removing weeds by hands or using tools such as the gem. Mowing or slashing involves regularly cutting down weeds to prevent them from flowering and setting seeds. Flame weeding involves using controlled flames to burn weeds, thus effectively controlling them. Cultivation or tillage is another method of mechanical weed control that involves using a tractor or a hand tool to dig out weeds, thus exposing its roots, causing it to dry Tillage also burns weeds, thus killing them. Advantages of tillage include it improves soil aeration, it is cheap for small-scale farmers, increases rainwater infiltration into the soil, tillage mixes organic matter into the soil, it is effective in the control of rhizomatomous weeds. These advantages of tillage include it destroys the soil structure, it is laborious and tiresome, excessive tillage may lead to soil erosion, tillage operations damage crop roots, and tillage destroys the soil structure. Chemical weed control is the use of chemicals called herbicides to control weed. Types of herbicides include Three emergent herbicides that are applied before weed seeds germinate to prevent their growth. Post emergent herbicides are applied to actively growing weeds to kill them. Selective herbicides target specific types of weeds while leaving desired plants unharmed. Non selective herbicides kill all vegetation they come into contact with. Systemic herbicides are absorbed by the plant and translocated throughout its system, killing it from within. Contact herbicides kill only the part of the plant they directly contact. Advantages of using herbicides in weed control include herbicides are effective, saving on labor and money resources compared to other manual methods. Herbicide use does not disturb plant underground structures or crop roots. Herbicide application is effective in both wet and dry soil conditions. It is cost effective compared to other methods, particularly for large scale agricultural operations. Herbicides are precise, they target specific types of weeds while leaving desired plants unharmed. Allowing herbicides are convenient. They can be applied in various forms. 
Herbicides are time saving. Herbicides conserve the soil by preventing tillage, which breaks down the soil, destroying its structure, and exposing it to soil erosion. Disadvantages of, you, of, disadvantages of using herbicides for weed control include herbicides require skilled personnel in mixing and application. Herbicides pose many risks to the environment and the user. Herbicides have a long residual effect that may affect future crops. Biological weed control is the use of living organisms to control weed. Biological weed control agents are natural enemies of specific weeds, such as insects or pathogens that reduce their populations. For example, the biological weed control agents include grazing animals that graze on weeds in between trees in tree plantations to control weed growth. Use of weed-eating fish to control aquatic weeds. Use of moths to control cactus. Use of certain cover crops like rye or sorghum, which produces allelopathic chemicals that suppress weed growth. Allelopathy involves growing of plants that release chemicals that inhibit growth of weeds. For example, the black walnut tree produces jaglon, a chemical compound that inhibits the growth of many plants beneath their canopy. The introduction of Garulucella beetle to control purple loose strife, an, in an invasive plant species, has been successful in many areas. Integrated pest management involves a combination of cultural, physical, mechanical, biological methods. 